Uranium is traditionally considered the heaviest natural element. We look around the universe, do we see anything heavier than that? No. We, however, are not content with what nature gives us. We want more. So in particle accelerators, we bombard the nuclei of elements and we can make heavier elements than uranium. And we've done so. Last I checked, we're up to 118. That's 26 more elements than the universe gave us. So frankly, I think that's badass. Anyhow, when you find uranium in nature, typically it's uranium ore, it comes in completely mixed in three varieties. There's uranium-234, uranium-235, and uranium-238. Here is uranium-235, and it's hit by a neutron. What happens is the nucleus splits into two parts, two lighter atoms. If you measure the mass of those two lighter atoms, it is less than the mass of the original 235. Where did the mass go? Ask Albert. Hey Einstein, where did the mass go? E equals mc squared. Energy is the mass times the speed of light squared, which is just a constant in that equation. So energy and mass are equivalent. And if you lose mass, you gain energy for having done so. Anything that's radioactive emits energy. So that's not what's interesting about uranium-235. If you split it, the splitting creates two or more new neutrons. They hit two other atoms. Now we're up to four, then eight, then 16. This doubles fast. And you get what we named back at the birth of atomic energy, a chain reaction. And each one of those reactions releases energy. And given the kind of thinking that goes on in warfare, it was immediately weaponized to create a bomb. 